En met veel lef vooral. Ja, vooral veel lef. Wegrijden. Echt vooral veel lef. Kijk, Opla, keer. kijk eens hoe hij die opzweeper maakt daar. Ja, maar voor hetzelfde... dat toch wel een fameuze drun voor hetzelfde is hij zijn neus kwijt. Ja, voor hetzelfde geld ga je daar gewoon tegen de grond. Sorry. Het is een specialist, het is een piloot en die motor ik zou maken dat je, dat je wegkomt. Ik zeg hem even lonken. Een jongen die van snelheid houdt. Laat zich ook uh, graag fotograferen met zware motoren. 82 per uur, dan moet je daar inderdaad weg. This year, at least, there's an 100 kilometers an hour at the moment on the way down. We'll do it a quick conversion. That's 62 miles an hour going downhill. That's pretty impressive on a bike that's got tires that are not much more than an inch wide. This is a very fast descent. Now, you see here, Jorg Jans just pushing Oscar Pereiro. This low profile position they're trying to get into is a very precarious thing to do, but it is almost the same position that a ski racer adopts when he goes downhill. And amazingly enough, I've done this many, many times. You go downhill a lot faster like that than you can do if you're actually pedaling. It's not Mickey Terpstra, is it? I don't think it's Terpstra. That was a big attack to the way he backed the bike over. He was right on the edge of the tyre grip trade-off there, really taking a couple of risks on the descent I'll of the it's Bonifacio. This is incredible if it's Bonifacio. And this is a good move by Bonifacio. Bro, look at the way he just shaved that corner, really taking risks, banking the bike right over. Clearly a rider that trusts his tyres, willing to take a bit of a risk. He's keeping his massive lead on the descent. The front end of the race here for Michael Rasmussen, and he's certainly not looking like a man showing any signs of weakness at all, and that will be a great coup, really, for Team Rabobank. 
because not only has this man taken the lead in the King of the Mountains classification yesterday, but if he can survive to the finish, that'll give him two stage wins in a row. He's got about an hour to survive because of the downhill. He should manage 30 miles an hour, and of this quality. Doesn't, doesn't take too many risks here. Look at this skill of a mountain biking expert. I'll tell you what, he's going, going, through the chicane. He's going a lot faster than that. Flying. I would say this man in this part of the course here is touching almost 50 miles an hour. 80 kilometers.